let's hightail it out of here. Crap. This inflatable dinghy is missing some... Uh, inflation. Reminds me of my last relationship. So how am I supposed to get to the mainland now? <sighs> Damn blow-up boats. There's no air in the front chamber. When Max came here with this boat, it was in a considerably better state. A bullet hole. Those bastards. Laying my hands upon it is not gonna mend that hole. Locked. Maybe I can get it open some other way. My goodness. Max and his weakness for fancy locking mechanisms. Interesting mechanism. I'm sure that by pushing the switch you can get Max's box open. What's that any good for? a note inside the bottle. Unfortunately, I can't open the top. Definitely passed its sell-by date as if... Shards are lucky. can't translate this. It's either Indonesian or Malaysian. Looks close, but that's actually some hell of a distance. Swimming to the mainland is not an option. What am I supposed to do? Blow it out? Volcano's out of control. Whatever it is I'm doing here. Nah, not interesting in the slightest. I'll just take the one bone. No man is so great that a woman will go back into hell for him. And Max isn't all that in the first place. No, on this occasion, I'm going to respect that rule. Make an exception to my own and actually do what I'm told. Please don't talk to me. I don't care what your name is. You're just a simple thorn bush, aren't you? The heat's so intense, this bush has caught fire. Quite beautiful, also rather scary. Generally, more heat is better, but in this case, I'll make an exception.
Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. There's a line marked What's that? What? Nope. <laughs> nope, obviously. Hope all the trouble's been worth it. Boots and socks. A satellite phone would have been nice. <sighs> Damn. The pump's dismantled. I need to take a good look at this.
Let's clean away this grease and sand. A stripped down air pump. came here abracadabra hocus pocus <laughs> what a surprise I can't fix it with my bare hands they're too big for me Jam the piece of rubber between the claws. This piece of rubber is big enough to patch the hole. I don't think it's gonna stick. It's thin. I'll jam the crab claw onto the end. This piece of rubber is big enough to patch the hole. I don't think it's gonna stick. <sighs> Damn. Like roasting marshmallows. You have to know when enough's enough. Melted enough? Perfect. The hole's fixed. Let's get this dinghy back on the high seas. Now I can get out of here at last. I haven't phoned in for days. My editor will be going loopy. Home at last. First, I'm gonna treat myself to a drink. And then I will listen to the 25 messages my charming editor has left for me. <laughs> he sounds a bit miffed because I've only just got back from Indonesia. <sighs> my excuses had better wait. He's already got a new job lined up for me. Oh, it's an important one by the sounds of it. Could be big for the magazine. I'd better not waste any time. Sure, a girl like me can find a new job really fast, but it still sounds like hassle I don't need. I'd best take the next flight to Berlin. I need to meet up with a Professor Hartman. He heads up a research group at Humboldt University, and our magazine is one of the sponsors of his Africa expedition. It seems that our professor is hot on the trail of some scientific sensation out there. <laughs> How often have I heard that shit? The sensation is usually some frothy bullshit that we can't even use to fill the summer news gap. Anyway, I'm clinging on to this job, which means I'm headed out to Africa with the professor at the next opportunity. I don't know exactly where we're going, so anything could be in store. <laughs> and that is exactly what I love about this damn job.
Biological Institute. This is where I'm supposed to meet Professor Hartman. The gate's locked. Yes, can I help you? Hello, my name is Peters. I've got an appointment with Professor Hartman. I'm sorry, but he's no longer in the building. What? But he wanted to meet me here this evening. According to our database, the Professor is away on an expedition. He's already set off? But I was supposed to be going with him. Yes, well, not every department of this facility is as efficiently organized as the security department is. Shit. My boss is gonna go bananas when he finds out I've missed this shot. What am I supposed to do now? Can you hear me? Yes. Does Professor Hartman have a cell number by any chance? Eh, doesn't look like it. We only have his office number here. Do you know where the professor was headed? No, but you could ask his secretary. Great. Where is she? Uh, Frau Muller has already left for the weekend. She'll be back Monday morning. Have you got her home number? We do. But I couldn't possibly give out private staff details to members of the public. Be patient and come back Monday. Patience is definitely not an option. No professor, no story. I need to find him as fast as I can. If I only knew where he was headed. Do you know exactly when the professor jilted me? Just a second. It looks like it was this morning. Now I'm really in a jam. Could you perhaps pop along to Professor Hartman's office and see if he's left a note for me? If he had left you a note, then it would be here at reception, I'm sure. Could you perhaps imagine letting me into his office for just a mo? If you'd like to know precisely, no, not in my wildest dreams. But I wish you a refreshing, stress-free weekend. Same to you. With bells on. Looks like I'm gonna have to help myself. No gate stopped me before. I need to get into the professor's office to find out where he's gone. If I mess up this assignment, then that's my job out the window. Not a good idea messing about with the camera. The doorman would be on to me right away. I've just about got everything a girl could need in this little bag. But sadly, nothing to wipe these markings away. The curbstone is full of chalk marks. Kids? No idea if this is relevant at all. The Humboldt University Biological Institute. <laughs> no. Without a very, very good reason, I am not going to touch that. Full to the brim with cartons and newspapers. The first accessory for my sailboat. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I can climb over the wall unscathed but I'd end up in full view of the security camera. It's not gonna work as is. There's a notice from garbage collection stuck on the letterbox. According to this, the BSR collects the waste paper first. Then another truck comes for the bio waste. The bulky stuff goes tomorrow. Paper collections been and gone. Damn it. Looks like it's home time already. Closed. Gotta be another way to get into the prof's office. Not a good idea. The waste paper's empty. The waste paper's empty. Nah, pushing empty trash cans is way below my preferred difficulty level. Well, okay. 
but just this once. Where is it supposed to go? Sounds like a good plan. Bio waste. Certainly the right color. Wow, that stings. The waste paper's empty. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I could climb over easily enough. But then I'd be in full view of the security camera and the doorman would spot me. I need to find a better way. made it. Now I somehow have to get into the Institute and find Professor Hartman's office. That's what comes from leaving your tools lying around. Clamp is solid. I can't get the hose off. The perfect entry assistance. Low walls, okay. Two stories? Uh, nope. I am not a world-class free climber. Whoever said size doesn't matter was covering something up. This la- Waltz into the building through the main entrance? The doorman would chuck me straight out. There's gotta be some more subtle way in there. Freedom for garden hoses. It's a hose, not a lasso. I'll tie the hose as tightly as I can to the rake. Not even MacGyver could use that as a grappling hook. The hose is too stiff, and the rake's teeth are too short to grip onto anything. Who needs a bolt cutter when head shears can do the job just as well? I've cut through the chains. Unfolded, the ladder cer- Not even McGu- I'll push the rake through both legs of the ladder and secure the whole thing with the garden hose. That is a sturdy ladder. Well done, Sam. Climbing through windows. A real cat burglar me. In luck. The coast is clear. Oh, 
Empty files. Useless. No dough, no go. A snack machine? Each of these little calorie bombs costs a cool $1.99. the exception to the rule. You don't always find something useful in waste bins. Won't open. Nothing that I could use. Not Professor Hartman's office. Not Professor Hartman's office. Go down and run into the doorman's arms, perhaps? I don't want to push my luck too far. Nothing that I could use. Forms and faculty notices. Not much interest to me. Dear Google, please find lockpick and head shears. No hits. A snack machine. Each of... An empty wallet. You only live once. I'll take a bag of crackers. My snack? And one cent change. No dough. This old trick might actually work. Or then again, maybe not. The idea's right, but the plastic money didn't take the strain. Won't open. I always keep this photo. I, I always keep this photo on me. Go down and sp spicy crackers. I'll hang on to this snack for later. Five cents will buy you little, and in this machine, damn all.
not Professor Hart. <sighs> empty files. Useless. Here's a box of empty file folders. An empty wa- A cheap imitation of a Persian carpet.